Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you want to learn Dalboomi from scratch, please follow our YouTube channel. In our last video, we discussed about set property shape and different types of set properties and how to configure those properties on Dalboomi. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in this video, I am going to discuss about differences between dynamic document property and dynamic process property i have already explained what is dynamic document property and what is dynamic process property and how to configure those properties on dalboomi in our last video so in most of the interviews you will get this question difference between ddp and dpp so we'll discuss the main differences between ddp and dpp now so dynamic document property is used to set document level properties where dynamic process property is used to set process level properties. Dynamic document properties are arbitrary values that you can use to temporarily store values related to a document. Dynamic process properties are single instance and global variable for a process. Dynamic document properties do not persist between the two branches. The document property set on the branch one will not be available on a subsequent branch. But if you set the property before the branch ship, it would be available down each branch ship. Where dynamic process property persists between branches and anywhere in the process. Dynamic document property is associated with a document as it flows through an integration process. If you have thousand invoices documents and a dynamic document property named unique id you will have thousand instances of that property with a thousand values dynamic process property associated with a process there is only one instance and one value for a process within the scope of a process execution suppose if you have multiple documents processing at the same time you would get the same value that too that is a last value because it is a single and global variables which means if you are processing 100 records at a time, you will get only last record value. So these are the main differences between dynamic document property and dynamic process property. Hope you understand today's video. If you have any doubts, please let me know in comment section. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever I post the video. Thank you all. See you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.